everyone hope you're all okay i'm in my kitchen um, and i thought i'd show you how to make some cheese and bacon swirls it's a recipe i found the other day quite enjoyed it it's quite easy so i will show you what you need some puff pastry i've taken that out here i'll take it out of the packaging and i'm going to unroll it course I've washed my hands already so you must always remember to wash your hands before you start any cooking very very important so that's my puff pastry rolled out the other things we're going to need is some grated cheese some bacon chopped up some chopped up red onions some parsley it says fresh parsley but I don't have any so I'm using my dried parsley some soft cheese and I've got an egg here that I've beaten up for brushing on the top at the end so first of all you need your soft cheese and you spread that all over the puff pastry so time to practice your spreading you need to get it all over it you want to spread it right across not just in the middle because there's none here and none here so you need to push it right to the edge and make sure you get it all over spread 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 just keep spreading it might take you a few minutes it doesn't matter how long you take as long as you get it all spread over nearly there oh need a bit in that corner little bit up there don't want to forget that corner either okay i think i've got it all covered next i'm going to put the red onion on you can use a spoon i'm using my fingers for the red onion i'm going to sprinkle it all over again we don't want a big dob in the middle or just a little bit at the sides that'd be no good because when we cut this up we're cutting we're going to roll it up and cut it at the end and you want to make sure that everyone gets some now i'm following the recipe as i said it's bacon bacon and cheese and it's got red onions in and parsley um but you don't have to put the bacon in um you can change it about if you want to put some mushrooms in um maybe you might like chopped up red peppers so you can put different fillings in it at the moment it's not always easy to get everything at the shops so we can play around with things and put different different ingredients in so i have covered it with red onions now i'm going to put the bacon on the bacon because it's meat and it's all a bit sticky i'm going to use a spoon but you can use your hands to put the bacon on, but just remember to wash your hands afterwards. Okay, I've had to set up in my kitchen and now I've got lots of sun shining on me. So if you just heard a noise, that's a bit of cardboard that's fallen down that was blocking the sun. So now I'm all a bit sunny. I love the sun, but hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. Okay, let's get all this bacon on here. Nearly there. So remember, you can change this. If you don't like bacon, you don't have to have the bacon in. It makes it taste really nice. The red onions is lovely. Use that knife to get that off. Okay. 
Just make sure it's all spread out nicely. Right. Next, I'm going to go for the parsley. Now, if any of you have got parsley in your gardens, you can use nice, fresh parsley. I've got lots of herbs in my gardens, but unfortunately, I haven't got parsley, so I'm having to use the dry parsley. But it still tastes just as nice. So I'm going to sprinkle my parsley all over. There we go. Then I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. I didn't show you those at the beginning. So I'm going to sprinkle some salt over. You might have your salt in a, in a pot where you shake it on. Sprinkle that across. Then my pepper. And last, the grated cheese. I'm going to use my fingers for that as well. But again, you don't have to. If you don't like touching things, you can use a spoon to spread it all over. Again, try not to put your cheese just in one corner. You want everyone to have some of the cheese. So we need to make sure it gets spread all over. Wow, that is a very full sheet of puff pastry. Okay, I'm gonna turn it round. Hopefully you'll be able to see me rolling towards you now. I'm going to start at this end. I'm going to roll the puff pastry. So I have to start very gently. You might need an adult to help you with this bit. Rolling. 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 You can see I'm using the paper to help me roll it so that my fingers don't stick to it. Rolling and we are all rolled now. Oh dear, I'm getting in a bit of a mess. As I said, you might need an adult to help you. So I've got a big roll now. Next, I need my knife. I did have here, someone took and used. And I'm going to cut it into strips. One, two, three, four, it's getting a bit sticky, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And before I started, I lined a tray with some greaseproof paper. So I have that ready. And I'm going to pick these up and put them on my tray. It's a bit messy. Make sure you've got some space around them. And another one. Oh, I am getting into a mess here. Put that one over there. Just got three more to go now. all a bit sticky and the last one so I've got them all on the tray can you see that now I'm going to just put some egg on the top 
just brush the tops with some egg like this. I know they look a bit messy now, but they're going to go into the oven and cook. And what we've used is something called puff pastry, so it will puff up and they will be delicious. Nearly there. One more to go. Okay, I'm going to put them in the oven. Don't go anywhere. Right. Now, they're going to take about 25 minutes to cook. Hmm. I don't know if we've got 25 minutes to wait. Hold on. Here's some I made earlier. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look tasty? Mmm. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Now. I think I might like to have it with a little rainbow salad. What would you eat yours with? Oh, lovely. Right, I hope you like that. I hope you, uh, I'd love to see if any of you make it. Um, I'm going to put the ingredients um, along with this video, so hopefully you will make some too. Bye!